What is up guys, it's Ian Quarters man and welcome to another vlog. So as you can see, I'm just having a bit of problem with my shelves. So I'm just making an update with that and as you can see like a little sneak peek which my new set will be reviewed. It is Jabba's Palace which I'm working still on and as you can see the Star Destroyer and there's basically the gunship laying down behind which I bought another one because I just need for the review and basically for my, I just want to buy three gunships. So because it will look cool like on display as you can see I have like nothing on display which i'll fix that and yeah we have things to sell and things to buy so let's get into it so as you can see i had to put the death star and the star destroyer back there so i can just basically put some stuff that i'm basically selling because as you can see there's a bunch of things miscellaneous that are just lying in my shelves which i'm probably just going to sell and those are the orders that are already done so as you can see we have some really nice figures which i already sold so this will be sent tomorrow the two face the old 2006 will be also sent tomorrow and those are still the figures that i'm going to sell i'll probably still have to make the joker and basically scarecrow from this minifigure but as you can see we have here like a kill two face which we still need to make an update and just wanted to show you how i store some of my minifigures so yeah this is like very cool as you can see it looks actually really amazing how i now think to basically store some of my minifigures as you can see we have some dc figures there we have Marvel and some other like Scooby-Doo. And here's just going to be only Star Wars. But I'm just still thinking what figures to put. So yeah, that is also in progress. All right, so I just noticed while I'm going to build the gunship, I need a place to put the Avengers Tower so I can just pack it up and basically sell it because the seller is already done. He paid for the order. And I'm just like waiting. And as you can see, I have some bags. So basically, I'm going to build the gunship that I'm going to pack the Avengers Tower and put it in that box. So I think, good plan let's begin it all right so as you can see i'm still sorting now the avengers tower but as you can see i have still a little bit of left but i'm just going to sort it like color wise and as you can see basically the gunship is now laying down on my bed yeah i've made a big mistake i have failed you anakin i have failed you all right so i finally finished um with the avengers tower as you can see it took me like about an hour to basically sort it out by pieces so as you can see so just i'm going to put up the instruction just another bag and i think it will be done so yeah, now i'm just going to send this to the post office and i'm going to probably make some dinner and then i have to still basically make the gunship so i can have a place to sleep so yeah guys that is basically the thing that i have to do right now i'm just waiting for my gopro to just basically energize so i can make another video which is the most expensive clone wars minifigures which i've been actually delayed and i was trying to make it for about like two weeks nice oh. nice all right so as you can see i have started building the gunship but as i just noticed that my two macbooks just don't even load and i just can't load the instruction to basically finish building the gunship so now i just have to build from my phone yeah thank you all right guys so it's about 10 p.m and i finally made the gunship which is a basically an amazing milestone because i got it back when i well, basically i sold it and now like yeah, I need another one. See, I'll, I just bought this. Now I still need to pack some orders for tomorrow. And yeah, so see you tomorrow. All right, so it's finally Saturday. I have to get a haircut today. And basically, as you can see, all my shelving is going to be cleaned up. So now we're going to clean up the shelves. And yeah, I'm going to record still a video about the Jabba's Palace review. As you can see, it's there. And nonetheless, I have to still send some packages, as you can see, to the mail. So I can basically earn some money and buy something from Brooklyn. Let's get into it. All right, so I just finished up um, cleaning up my first shelf. As you can see, I grabbed most of the stuff. Basically, some Star Wars micro fighters, battle packs. So yeah, I just got most of them. But yeah, as you can see, this shelf is super dusty. Like, I haven't cleaned it for months. All right, so finally. Oh, it looks so much dust. All right, so I just dusted up two of my shelves, as you can see. But I just noticed that I have like many kinds of just basically Ziplocs just laying down on my basically display. And that is basically really ridiculous because I just want like, you know, the Jabba's Palace or like my custom Palpatine's arrest or basically the Republic gunship to basically lay down on the shelf. But not this massive disaster. They can basically see light on my bed. All right, so let me have this idea. Let me just basically grab the instruction of the Lord of the Rings set. See, let me just grab it so none of the pieces can fall. So I basically have this idea to basically lay all of my rare instructions just basically in this files. Yeah, this is like very messed up file, but it basically is a file so it can basically work. And just put all my rare like Lord of the Rings instruction inside this. 
so I can basically can keep them all like in a very good condition. So that is basically I have like with most of my like basically Star Wars instructions. And I think it's basically going to helpfully to basically have your instructions basically organized. Because as you can see, some of the instructions are already in bad condition. All right, so as you can see, the instructions are now much more safer in those basically files. And as you can see, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with some of these pieces. It's going to have Dark Trooper Battle Pack basically said that I haven't basically find a place for it because it's basically laying down right here which is super dusty and i still have to dust it and most of my zip logs yeah i still have to figure out what to basically place on two of those shelves and yeah let's continue basically cleaning up other shelves all right so as you can see i was just like cleaning all my lord of the rings and basically some star wars minifigures and i just basically noticed now uh, look at this what happened to this fella I think when I was making a custom um, Urukai minifigure, I basically used the torso of Chewbacca and I basically didn't realize that it basically broke like an insane, just look at that. That is basically why you don't have to mess with brown or reddish brown torsos. All right, so making a new display stand, I basically want to put all of my basically Legos back into, basically get off all the shelves and just basically add a new design to it so yeah first of all i'm just going to take everything out from the shelves so i can basically then display them so i have like some file first just boxes laying down for like the back view i just really like it back there so yeah first of all i'm just going to first of all put everything out of the shelves basically clean them up and then like think of a new display stand because you know like the second shelf just looks actually super messed up well the first shelf is basically like something that, like you have some dc and have scooby-doo and have something in the middle but the second shelf is just like a complete disaster all right so we have the last shelving as you can see see i have like a bit of question to me like as you can see i have this all like lego just laying down on basically the table and as you can see here's like the speeder which is completely dusty yeah but it's still a good set but i want it in my collection like see this is a custom lego basically batman the joker the joker land basically batmobile that i basically made a long time ago and some of you have been basically asking me questions about the collection and so i just wanted to show you guys so as you can see i have no idea how like those two sets ended up in the collection and so yeah i just i just don't want it. i want to get rid of it as quick as quickly as possible and I have like another thing to it, as you can see, basically this whole section is just completely filled with, I don't know, like this looks just, I mean, it's basically like crazy how much stuff is basically laying down here, just doing nothing. I just wanted to show you guys like the bin, like this is just insane. And this is basically all the instructions I have. Well, not all, just most of the, like, the, like, instructions that I basically keep there. But, yeah, as you can see, there's, like, so much stuff just useless. Like, what is this? Like, can, like as you can see, it's super dusty and there's, like, some pieces missing. Because I basically, I don't remember, remember like, using for a mock. Like, what is this? Like, some of this is just going to be basically sold because I, I don't want this. Well, yeah, this is actually... Some other thing like the Fire First Battle Pack. I have no idea where to display this. I just need to like get something so I can basically just put all the battle packs and micro fighters into one place. And so yeah, guys, as you can see, it's just a complete disaster. I'll have to work it up. All right, so while displaying something back in the shelves, the black gate just fell. Oh my god, how am I going to restore this? Basically, the black gate just fell. Oh, this is so bad so bad how am i going to display all of this oh now i have to fix the black gates all right so i want this shelf like most of all lord of the rings like as you can see the tower well yeah it's basically broken but i'm just like thinking wisely like it cannot fit when it's basically going to be completed but i want like here the mines of moria here's going to be helm zeep and there's going to be like the black gates so you have to like move this shelf like on a one road as you can see it is basically possible to move it down. See, that is basically what I'm going to do right now. All right, so I finally built the black gates. As you can see, I already put it down. I put it like two boxes of Lord of the Rings. Now I just put like some Mines of Moria. And then on top, we have our three battle packs. And here is just like messed up. But nonetheless, I'm using the space as I can. And we have still some pieces basically left. But most of all, it is basically this. The Jabba's Palace will go next to the Republic gunship. 
but all of the others I have really no idea because most of them I'm just selling so that I can basically put some like the UCS slave one is going to be up top on there basically next to the castle and I'll put like you know the, the Imperial the TIE fighter also will be there with the gunship so yeah working process it is still messed up. So as you can see, the process is still in working, but I have moved some of the minifigures. As you can see, Lord of the Rings is going to be here. I still have some place for my other minifigures, which is going to come soon. Then we have like here, yeah, it's a couple of mess, but then those we have their lore business. Some is there, but as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Like most of this stuff I'm going to get rid of, so I can put some UCS sets and other Star Wars sets. And yeah, I'm not going to put the Jabba's Palace for now because I'm going to make a review on it soon after I'm finished with most of this this is the lot this is the other things that still need to be sold yeah this is basically the place where I um make some photos for sale big next to the devs are here we have some statues like this is basically completely destroyed so yeah still working in process but nonetheless we have some progress done. All right, guys, I still need to do a lot of work in this shelf, but I just need to figure out what am I going to sell and what is going to be on the shelf. So that is still in progress. And right now I'm going to just basically grab in the Jabba's Palace and make a review on it. It is one of the best, basically, Lego Star Wars sets. I remember it got delayed, basically, for racism or something like that. But nonetheless, it is one of the best sets Lego has ever made. I'm just going to prepare to make a review on it. And yeah, then I'm going to get a haircut, send some other packages that I need. And yeah, we'll see you on there. All right, so it's already 4 p.m. and I just came home. I just got a haircut, as you can see, got some pizza. And I'm still finishing my review of the Jabba's Palace. First, I'm going to like have a snack, as you can see. And then I'll basically finish up the shelving. I'll show you how I leveled it up. See so yeah, you guys, there's a lot to finish. All right, so I finished my review of the Jabba's Palace and I just wanted to mention you guys, like, you know, I wanted to add like a Slave Leia on display because those two pins are basically for Slave Leia, 100%, but I didn't want it to put it on the review. And just like, you can see the difference of the years of basically Chewbacca and Han Solo. The hair basically is outstanding. And as you can see the difference with Chewbacca, basically the color, I just noticed that it's basically a very big difference compared to the basically the 1999 version with the oldest version which we got in like a plenty of billion lego star wars sets so i just need to put all the minifigures in ziplocs as you can see we have to put all the jabba's palace minifigures inside there's still two shelves which i need to fill up there's going to be the jabba's palace which i'm going to put in the minute when i put all the minifigures and i just noticed that i have like this empty box which i can use with this lot of basically things as you can see we have this lot to sell those lots to sell and yeah nonetheless just wanted to show you how my minifigures is most of all displayed but there's still some things like on the shelf that like as you can see lord of the rings because there's not too much and i don't know how to display it lord business looks absolutely amazing and there's going to put the jabba's palace on top of that shelf after all this done i'm just going to play fortnite with the boys all right so just going to play some fortnite with the boys all right guys thank you guys so much for watching this vlog leave a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you legends in the next one peace out